Now, long time back, when we studied hydrolysis, one day I told you that when you hydrolyze cyanide, you will get carboxylic acid. I didn't tell you the mechanism then. Then what I told you when we'll study carboxylic acid chapter, we'll see this reaction as method of preparation of carboxylic acid and there we'll see the mechanism. Now that day has come when we are in the chapter carboxylic acid and we are studying the method of preparation of carboxylic acid and we are asking this reaction. So now we have to see the mechanism as well. When hydrolysis occurs, this, the cyanide, the cyanide group gets turned to carboxylic acid group this R remains same here so to write the product what you'll do is you'll just convert this cyanide to carboxylic acid you'll convert CN to COH this N will go to forming ammonia gas if there is more of H plus present basically that H plus is a electron acceptor ammonia would be electron donor there will be some uh, reaction between ammonia and H plus forming a coordinate bond between nitrogen and hydrogen and you'll have a formation of ammonium ion. So if you have more H plus available after hydrolysis, this ammonia will exist as ammonium ion. So whatever it is, you'll have a formation of carboxylic acid from cyanide. And this is a very familiar reaction. During the whole course, we have seen this reaction. During conversions, you have used this reaction. And now, finally, we are going to see the mechanism of this reaction. Now, you work out along with me. Think yourself you check out yourself whether you are able to think ahead of time then what I am saying to write the mechanism of any substrate with any reagent the first and the foremost thing that you have to do is you have to identify electron deficient site and electron rich site you have to identify the most reactive reagent that is going to initiate the reaction now this cyanide is decently stable you have C triple bond and strength of bond will be very high this R part is inert this is not going to react as such this is at least not going to initiate the reaction water water is thermodynamically stable water is a very stable solvent that's why water is a very good leaving group water as such is not going to initiate the reaction because the substrate is electron rich you have pi bonds water is also electron rich because you have lone pairs on oxygen the electron deficient species is this H plus now this H plus is electron deficient this is going to initiate the reaction and this will come to my substrate rather our substrate this H plus will come to our substrate asking for electron now I can cite two pi bonds so probably uh, 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 some addition some some bond formation between H plus and any other atom must take place and although I haven't written this lone pair on nitrogen, but you must cite this lone pair without this being written there. So this nitrogen has a lone pair after making three bonds. So H plus will go and form a bond with nitrogen. This is electron rich site. This is electron deficient site. There'll be electronic transition from electron rich site to electron deficient site. That is what a reaction is. So uh, a bond will be formed between nitrogen and hydrogen. Now I'm not adding H plus on pi bond because the electrons of pi bonds are attracted by nucleus of two atoms because they are bonded. And the lone pair is attracted by the nucleus of only one atom because that belongs to only one atom. So lone pairs are less attracted towards the nucleus so they are more free to be donated. So whenever you have a situation like this, you have a pi bond and you have a lone pair, both are as such electron rich side, but preferably reaction takes place at the lone pair end because they are more free. So the first step would be you have a formation of coordinate bond. When nitrogen forms a coordinate bond, then the plus charge comes on nitrogen because the electron from that nitrogen has get has got transferred into the empty orbital of hydrogen. Now once this happens, when you have a plus charge on nitrogen, this, this nitrogen mercilessly, ruthlessly starts to pull the electron from all the bonds that it has formed by carbon. Because plus charge on nitrogen is not stable, because nitrogen is the third most electronegative atom after fluorine and oxygen. So it will start pulling up the electron to fulfill its deficiency. So this carbon in turn will become electron deficient and the plus charge polarity on this carbon will be continually increasing and it will, be, it will become uh, 
the, the plus charge polarity will become sufficient enough so that a even a weak nucleophile like water will come and attack on the carbon. So what's happening here is nitrogen is pulling up the electron from carbon. Carbon getting electron deficient will start will ask for help from some other electron rich atom and oxygen will come to the rescue of carbon so what will happen is this oxygen is going to come and give its electron to this poor electron deficient carbon so but when carbon accepts the electron of oxygen it has to break the bond with nitrogen because carbon cannot be pentavalent so it is already making four bonds if it is going to make one new bond it has to break one of the previous bonds so one of the pi bond will be broken this electron will go into the orbital of nitrogen that will make nitrogen neutral and a bond between carbon and oxygen will be formed like this again you have a problem on oxygen because oxygen came for the help of carbon but in turn oxygen became electron deficient because oxygen is having plus charge now because the orbit electrons from the orbital of oxygen has come into the orbital of carbon so as such electrons that belong only to oxygen before now belongs to carbon and oxygen both instead of being into the orbital of oxygen it is being bit at between the center of oxygen and carbon so as such oxygen has lost some of its electronic density and we have put some plus charge because of that so oxygen has to be stabilized and the way of stabilizing oxygen is here here is intramolecular acid base reaction because nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen so nitrogen will offer its electron to H plus greater than oxygen so this H plus will get transferred from oxygen to nitrogen so this OH2 plus will become OH because this H plus has transferred from oxygen when it will go away it will also take away the plus charge and it will form a new bond with nitrogen so nitrogen is already making three bond here when a new H plus get transferred from oxygen to nitrogen it will have one more hydrogen resulting in a new plus charge on nitrogen because it has given its electron lone pair that was present here to form a coordinate bond with hydrogen when this forms this happens again you have a shifting of this bond towards nitrogen so again you will have a development of plus charge on this carbon so again this carbon will ask for rescue to some other atom now this time that atom is already bonded with the carbon here we have oxygen just adjacent to this carbon so when this nitrogen is pulling up the electron from carbon and carbon is in terrible need of electron this oxygen will come to the rescue of carbon giving its electron to the orbital of carbon and forming a bond between carbon and oxygen when this happens when carbon starts to form a bond with oxygen carbon also have to start to break the bond with nitrogen so these two process goes on simultaneously when you have a full bond formed at this position a full bond at this position has to be broken and when that happens you have a complete bond formed between oxygen and nitrogen here you will have a single bond here we have drawn double bond the bond with hydrogen will remain the same and for that reason oxygen will also have a plus charge because because it has given its electron to carbon so in turn it has become slight electron deficient than before and here the scene is that nitrogen has become neutral because I have put the electron of the bond into the orbital of nitrogen and again yet again you will have a acid base reaction intramolecular acid base reaction because again ox nitrogen is less more less electronegative and for that reason more basic so again if you have intramolecular acid base reaction the oxygen will become neutral nitrogen will have one more bond and again a plus charge now now I can sense a very good leaving group trying hard to leave the substrate now if this and as you can see and you must also be able to feel this this NS3 is a living group when we studied living group we studied list of some stable compound that leaves the substrate and have their independent existence because they are thermodynamically stable like water like N2 gas like CO2 gas like hydrogen gas like ammonia gas so ammonia gas is a very stable living group whenever you have a situation like this when you are you have a f you have formed a very stable leaving group they tend to leave and because there's a plus charge on nitrogen 
it will start pulling up the electron towards itself so this bond will be already broken much much broken because the electronic wave will be already much shifted towards nitrogen so that sharing will be lost so the bond strength will be less so this nitrogen tends to leave the substrate it tends to pull up most of the electronic density of this bond and that brings up charge deficiency on this carbon when this happens you have one more step to go to get the product you have water here water will facilitate the removal of this good living group water will come and start attacking this carbon that means it will start giving its electron to this carbon when this carbon is making the fifth bond one of the bond has to be broken and that will facilitate further movement of electronic wave into the orbital of nitrogen nitrogen goes as neutral ammonia into neutral ammonia because nitrogen is having plus charge now and when we give electronic wave of this bond it will be neutralized so this goes off as NH3 if you have more of H plus in the system it will become NH4 plus so this remove get this gets removed off as NH3 and you are having a bond formation between oxygen and carbon in turn there will be a plus charge on oxygen that will be removed by removing H plus very easily so basically you will have a OH group added here so y what you are going to have is you will have this from this part you are having a silt part and because of a bond between carbon and oxygen one OH group will come here as I have written here this NH3 is going to get, get is going to get removed from this substrate but because the system is acidic that will exist as NH4 plus ammonium ion so this is how we are getting carboxylic acid out of cyanide this is an important reaction and you must remember this for conversion problems and because carboxylic acid are basically prepared through this process this, this is a cheap process and cheap as well from which carboxylic acids are prepared so this is one of the important method of preparation of carboxylic acid this mechanism you must 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 be able to work out yourself in case you are not then the whole purpose of studying the course of organic chemistry will be defeated I can give you in writing that you will not be able to solve or tackle very very efficiently problems in the exam and and then there's no use of studying this the sitting back and watching will not help out you see this mechanism whatever I have explained I hope you understood it now take a paper take a pen and work it out yourself by your hand if you don't do that in exam things will not click you you cannot work out things fast where the electrons are going which living group is leaving where the bond is getting which bond is break, being broken where the nucleophile is attacking things will not come very very naturally into your mind if you don't practice it well so my suggestion is before moving ahead you do practice this uh, uh, mechanism by yourself that will enrich you that will strengthen you that will make you feel better so that when you are outside the ex exam center you walk in your chest so alone with confidence and that will make all the difference